My vision for the future of humanity in space is, is not that different from what humanity on Earth looks like. That is, it, it means hotels and malls and restaurants and parks and, and, and all the things that we, we enjoy and, and take for granted. But I think all those things will become normal when we've succeeded. In other words, opening the space frontier doesn't just mean putting a science base up there. It means that people are actually living and working and really taking space for granted. We can choose to summon the future. It doesn't have to happen to us. Uh, we get to choose it sometimes. And, and space is the chance for us to choose what kind of future we want to live in. And many, many people find that irresistibly attractive, and I do myself. I truly believe that it is our future. We belong in space, it is a part of us, and we need to do all that we can to get there. My vision for the humanity in space is not just one that the, uh, the pioneers, which many times are our scientists, our aerospace, our astronautical engineers that are part of, but it is inclusive of artists, um, business people. And all those other people that you interact with, finding small ways to make them realize that space isn't just a fantasy and it's not just something that maybe their grandkids will see, but something that actually could really be be open to them and to their kids uh, soon. Having a large and growing human presence in space is critical to the long-term future of our species. Um, I was caught in by the, the dreams from a young age that the resources that are available in space, the possibilities for uh, social development of different uh, groups to go out and, and live in different parts of space would mean so much that we, we can't even really understand what it would be like. When there's a time when we can, we can play in space and you can, and you can truly have a neighbor in space and have all the interactions that, we're, um, that we have here on the earth in terms of uh, work and play, that's when I think, uh, that's just when we're gonna get started. We have no idea what's really going to happen when people can travel to space on a relatively cheap basis and be able to send lots and lots of stuff into space, which we really can't do yet. Space is uh, where the new opportunities are for us to explore outside of just our world and we have new technology that's always coming along and there's always opportunities for us to go out there. I think humanity has a future. Some people seem not to anymore. I think it's a great and glorious future, and I think that that inevitably means that space is going to be a very important part of it. You've got entrepreneurial companies uh, doing things that nobody's ever done before. You've got um, NASA turning a new page, and all of a sudden NASA and New Space are working together. The Space Frontier Foundation pulls all those entrepreneurs together, provides a forum for people to get together and, and speak and share ideas and really see what's going on and the bleeding edge of space commercialization. Of all the years that I've been coming to New Space, I think I've met potential clients here. I've met uh, a few current business partners here. So it's a great way if for any space enthusiast, whether you're involved um, in the industry as, a, you know, as an entrepreneur or as someone working in industry at another level, or you're just interested in space as a hobby, I think it's a wonderful conference to attend. This is a chance for like, the whole community to get involved. New Space is the future for our space exploration.